if you've ever had a really long work day and your face just looks all caked up, you have tons of layers all over your skin, and the last thing you want someone seeing on your face is just a bunch of foundation and powder caked up on your face wondering, how much makeup does she have on? What is the cakey face appearance? It is when you have so much product on your face that it actually looks like you frosted your face like a birthday cake. Ah! I'm gonna show you guys today how to avoid that dilemma. Now the first step that you wanna do when you are trying to avoid the cakey face is to prime your face. And the one that I really like right now is the Benefit Porefessional one, just because I have a lot of pores on my face. What primers do is it's almost like paint primer. It's gonna prep the surface for anything you put on top is gonna look a lot smoother. You can use whatever primer you want, but you're going to apply that, which I've already done. The second step is to not apply too much foundation. Now, one of my key steps in doing that is to use like a beauty blender or a stippling brush to apply my foundation. And you wanna just apply one thin coat and then any blemishes or whatnot that pop through, apply concealer on that. That way you don't have way too much foundation on. So just the thin layer of foundation. The third step is to not use too much powder. Now, this is the most important one. Too much powder is going to make you look cakey. So you wanna only apply powder where you feel that the oil is um, extra noticeable. And for most of us, that's the T-zone. So from forehead, nose, chin, a little bit of here outside the nose area. So you want to use a sponge like this. I'm just using a NYX one. I don't like using the brushes to apply powder because it picks up too much product. When you apply it on, you're gonna have too much powder in your face. It's gonna get thick and cakey looking. So use a powder puff and the thinner ones are a little bit better. So that's why I like these. The powder I'm going to use today is my new favorite one. It is kind of pricey, but it's a great product. It's the Dior Skin Powder, and this one is called Dior Skin Nude, and my color right now is number 30. So I'm gonna use that. The trick is not to pick up too much powder, so what you want to do is take your flat sponge, and you're just going to dip it in, scrape off the excess, so you'll only get a thin layer on your sponge, and I'm just going to pat it right on my T-zone and then I put just a little bit under my eyes just to kind of set my concealer so it doesn't get um, creased under there and then whatever's left on the sponge you're just going to dab on the rest of your face only if you're a combination to oily skin. Now if you're dry skin you may not even need to use any powder at all. If you're oily all over then you can do powder all over but again focus just on the T-zone don't pick up any more, and then pat it around the edges, and that should prevent that cakey face. Now, fourth and final step, and you don't have to do all these steps, just try one or two of them and see if they help you not get cakey. But once you apply powder, you can set it with a misting spray, and I really like the MAC Fix Plus spray. What this is going to do is kind of almost melt the powder and make it meld together, so that way it doesn't look um, dry or cakey looking. So this is just, amazing product. I use this every single day. So you're just going to, once you apply your powder, take it, just do very light presses because you just want to mist your face. And then what you can do is just fan your face after that and it's going to give you a more dewy finish and get rid of that powdery look. So that is my steps to avoiding the cakey face look. <laughs> Hope it was helpful for you guys. Click on the link below to makeupgeek.com and I'll give you some more tips on how to prevent the cakey face and look more natural and have that healthy, beautiful glow. So be happy and healthy, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.